What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be answering one very simple question. What is the best bow in the game? This video is going to include a bow and crossbow comparison too, and I will include links in the description on how to get the best bow and the best crossbows for you to use. To an extent, one can argue that either the crossbow or the bow is better in different situations, which I'll cover at the end. But first I'm going to go over each weapon individually, so we can make a final conclusion. Both crossbows and bows can be enchanted, they can also be improved by smithing. So I'm going to be excluding both these factors from the comparison. Also, archery skills and enchantments like fortified bow damage work on both crossbows and bows. And of course the archery skill perks work the same way for crossbows and bows, so both of these factors will be ignored as well. Let's talk about the bow first. The bow with the highest base damage in the game is the Dragonbone Bow. However, this can only be obtained either in the Soul Khan or at level 100 smithing. The bow has a base damage of 20. It also has a weight of 20. Due to its weight, it has a slightly longer draw speed, taking about 0.75 seconds to draw fully. This is hardly noticeable though. Using a bow, the best ammunition you can fire is the Dragonbone Arrow, which does 25 points of damage. However, you need 100 smithing to make them, which can be quite inhibitive to obtaining some. Alternatively, at level 47 you will start to find Daedric arrows that you can use too, however they only do 24 damage. So with both a bow and arrows, you will have 45 damage in total. Now I'm going to talk about the crossbow, and then I'll compare the two. The best crossbow that you can obtain is the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow. To get it, you must first complete six side quests, which are relatively straightforward. You can then either buy it, or you can even smith it at the forge in Fort Dawnguard at level 30 smithing, making it a lot easier to obtain than the Dragonbone Bow. The bow itself does 22 damage, and has a unique effect that ignores 50% of the enemy's armour. Note that this does not count as an enchantment, you can in fact enchant the crossbow on top of this effect. This makes the base crossbow a lot stronger than the bow. Now let's talk about ammunition. The best bolt you can get is the dwarven bolt, it does 14 damage. This is a lot lower than the dragon bone arrows, that do 25 points of damage. However, you can buy enchanted dwarven bolts. When these enchanted bolts hit the target, they explode for another 15 points of elemental damage. Once more, you also get the choice of either Fire, Frost, that damages health and stamina, and Shock, that damages health and magicka. Some enemies, like vampires, take more damage to fire, so you can quite easily just swap arrows on the fly depending on what enemy you're against, so you can use their weakness against them. So to round up the base bow and crossbow comparison, the crossbow does a total damage of 36, which ignores 50% of armour, plus 15 points of your choice of area of effect elemental damage, for a total of 51 damage. When compared to the Dragon Bone Bow, the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow comes out on top. Now let's talk about the bow and the crossbow in combat. Range wise, they are the same. You just need to aim a little bit higher with the crossbow to hit your target. It does take a little bit of getting used to. Firstly, the crossbow is always loaded, and you can run, walk, and even jump around with it loaded. It's always ready to fire as soon as you press the trigger, so if you're ever surprised, it will give you the fastest reaction time. When the bow is loaded, you are forced to move more slowly. However, after releasing the shot, you can reload the bow again a lot faster than you can with the crossbow. This means that if you miss your crossbow shot, you can't just reload straight away. While you're reloading your crossbow, you cannot run, or block, or even cancel the action, so you're more susceptible to being attacked. However, you do have a bit of a safety net, because all the crossbows have a natural 50% chance to stagger opponents. When combined with the power shot perk, it increases to 75%, so you can easily stagger any opponent, giving you enough time to reload. This works great for 1v1 situations. While the bow does not have the natural affinity to stagger anyone, unless you have the power shot perk, in which case you only get 25%, crossbows are louder than bows, so depending on your sneak level, you might have some difficulty if you're trying to kill someone in a room with more than one person in it. In my extremely experienced opinion on the matter, crossbows are great in one versus one situation, not to mention how fun the exploding bolts are to use. 
you can easily destroy any boss or dragon priest with them. I found them to be reliable when sneaking, but sometimes they can be difficult to use when you're in a room with more than one or two people to kill. And overall, the crossbow and its materials are easier to obtain. I find though, when sneaking with the bow, I can reliably clear a room of several enemies without being discovered. Also, you'll find that with the bow you can kite and run around more easily between shots, so you can manoeuvre bigger foes like mammoths or trolls. Even though that I think the crossbow comes out on top, I personally still prefer the look and the playstyle of the bow. The decision is ultimately one of personal preference, but these are the facts so tell me what you think in the comments, and why. Remember, all the bows and ammunition locations can be found in the description of the video. You might also like to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Skyrim. Also, a lot of time and testing went into this video, so I'd appreciate your support by liking it. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.